The way I remember it, growing up happened gradually. And then, in quick, sharp bursts that took me by surprise. One instant, the relationships around me seemed as certain and continuous as prairie fields. The next, life overtook me. And all I could do was wear myself ragged, chasing after people who, in reality, had already moved on. Making a race of it. Faster than the last one. Faster, certainly. Osborne! It's not that I don't enjoy the sight of a man on one knee in front of me. Morning. I'm I'm Paul Krauss. I'm the school teacher. That's right. And I am Violet Beaudry, Crocus Town Council's cultural advisor, vice president, Crocus Chapter Daughters of the Easter Store, women's auxiliary chairman. Though, in fact, that title is not quite fitting. <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, now that we have the introductions out of the way, we can get right down to business. That's what I'm here for. On the play. The play. Yes. The first thing you'll need to do is to gather up some of the other men. Uh, and, uh, and recruiting them would be my job? Only if you intend on keeping it. Our parents are an unforgiving lot. You'll find me a useful ally. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure. Mm. Oh, and Mr. Krauss. You'll find it's customary for the men in Crocus to wear trousers. <laughs> Wearing for it now. Tripping the teacher. It was an accident. Besides, he only saw you. And you're not going to tell, are you, Osborne? He won't tell. Settle down. That's telling her. Mm. <laughs> You're Ben's new teacher. That's right, Paul Cross. Uh, Julia Osborne. Hi. Right. So what's Ben done now? Hmm? Oh, well, he and a few friends left these for me as a welcoming present. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Cross. I will talk to him. Well, a few firecrackers aren't a big deal. Mm. I mean, compared to, say, dead rats on your desk, Tax on your seat, glue in your class notes. <laughs> that sounds like a dangerous profession. Yes. Mm. My favorite was worms in my egg salad sandwich. <clears throat> I was halfway done before I noticed. Oh. Um, it would help me if, if I could be the one to talk to Ben. Mm. Lose track of a class this early in the game, it can be hard ground to make up. Tell him I sent you. What? I 
guess I better be going. <clears throat> it's nice to have met you, Mr. Paul. Paul. What about tomorrow? Can't. You never want to do anything anymore. It's not that. What is it then? Stevie and Zach said I could be in their club. They did? Yeah. If I kiss the angel, I'll be in. I stood off the firecrackers. I could kiss the angel, too. Hi, lad. Hi. That's not such a good idea. It's not their angel. But it's their club. Nobody under 12 gets in. That's not fair. Come on, Ben. You know you're afraid of heights. I am not. Trouble with you, Trumper. Can't just play for fun. Oh, save your crying for when you lose your money. Win or lose, uh, nothing like a pretty girl to cheer a fellow up. No, sir, nothing quite like it. <laughs> Big deal. Girly cards. It's not like they're anything you haven't seen before. Oh, I don't know. I'd uh, say Lola here is uh, pretty unique. I'm just saying. Fairly unique. <laughs> Let me see those. Hey. Mm. Quite a business, this mail order. Kind of thing that interests you, eh, Albert? <laughs> uh, can't all be satisfied plowing fields. <clears throat> Tough day at the treehouse, son? Seem to have found the local men's club. Golightly Barbershop. Get your news here before it hits the breeze. <laughs> uh, crocus breeze. Now, that's our paper, see? Now, speaking of the paper, did anyone happen to see a notice about auditions? Might be a bit of community spirit if a bunch of us went down and help out with the play. Chance to tread the boards. Well, you better make those boards sturdy if you're thinking of having Albert tread them. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Krauss, don't believe we've met. Jake Trubber. <laughs> and Ben, the demolitions expert, I'd like a word with you. School's done for today. Wouldn't want to interrupt his billiards lesson with any sort of educational concern, would we? I'm all for a little real life education. I think a good game of pool could come in handy. I'm sure a good game could. <laughs> new teacher. Seems like he's going to hold his own. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Very much, apparently. So how's the play? Mm. We need more men. Well, it's about time you women admitted that. to listen to your ma, kid. And your teacher, too. I don't want you to play the piano anymore. What? What do you mean I'm not playing the piano? 
The situation has changed, Julia. Changed how? My vision of the part has shifted. It, it is crying out for a, for a sophistication that only you can bring to it. Violet, you've never even seen me act. No, but I've seen you play. It is more than just technique. It is passion. <sighs> Why, Juliet? And are you going to be making any other significant casting changes? Well, <laughs> there is Romeo. <laughs> I'll make you a deal, Ben. You tell me who put you up to leaving the firecrackers on my doorstep, and you can go. Well, what's it gonna be? I won't do it. I won't tell. Good for you, Ben. Good for you. Nobody likes a tattletale. Put out your hand. How long is this room? I don't know. How many kernels of wheat laid end to end? Well, as soon as you figure that out, you can go. So, no, bet you did. I didn't. Not even when he hit me. He hit you? A bunch of times. Ben should come. The dead man's drop? Let's see what he's made of. Mr. Goldightly. <laughs> Listen, I realize that I've only been Crocus a short while, but from what I've seen, that barbershop, your barbershop, clearly the local seat of friendship. Well, uh, that, uh, that is. Uh, <laughs> well, no doubt, it is uh, that. Uh, uh, very perceptive of uh, a newcomer to notice. Which is why I was horrified to find that Violet was going to offer the part of Mercutio, one of the most famous friends in history, to somebody else. Uh, who else? What? Uh, well, uh, any, 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 anybody else. Oh. Uh, Mercutio, eh? Valiant. Valiant friend to Romeo. Yeah, who dies in the process, but I believe. Such I... an honorable death. Man with the courage of his convictions. A man ready to die to save the honor of a friend. Well, I, I, I see why you'd uh, think of me. can't go fishing. I said I couldn't see my way clear to, to acting. So he asked me if I could help out in some other way. Like what? You gonna hold Violet's hand while she does her Cleopatra imitation? No. I said I'd build some sets. Oh. I'm glad you're helping. These are Paul's designs. Thanks. That was quick. I guess Paul just knows what he wants. 
And it ain't fishing. What is it with you? You don't even know him. Well, I know the type. Always has to be in charge, always rushing in to save the day, knows better than anyone else. Believe me, Jake, I know the type. Well, Fryer, he's sort of the entrepreneur of love. I didn't think that anyone else could quite capture the, the spirit of the role the way that, well, the way that you could. I can't really see myself as a friar. Did you see this? He marries him. No, oh, can't say I'm much for marriage myself. And does all the planning. Provides Juliet with sleeping potion. Sleeping potion? Yeah, so Romeo can find her dead and kill himself. Oh, hey, listen, that's not the friar's fault. He, he tried to warn Romeo. He sent a message there. It's just the message just never got there. No, this, this friar, he uh, takes the blame. Oh. Uh, well, yes. Well, yes, he does. Oh, just like life. Blame the middleman. Right. Right. Count me in. Right. <laughs> A friar. Yeah. <laughs> It is the east and Juliet the sun. And she steals love's sweet bait from fearful hooks. Not like that. Why, well, you're bossy. <laughs> Look who's talking. Yours is the voice of doom. You can't do it like Lucille Ball. But I don't feel somber. Ah, oh, you have to think about how young and in love they are. Of them dying for love. Oh, please. I can't believe you're so hard-hearted. She doesn't even know him. He was in love with someone else at the beginning of the play. One look at Juliet, and boom, it's over. You don't think you can fall for someone the first time you see them? No. Cold-hearted wench. <laughs> Sad, but true. Or at least that's what you'd like us to believe. Mmm. That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. And so Romeo would, were he not Romeo called Jake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Hello. I didn't realize you had company. Nice to see you. Jake works on the farm. I mean, he's been here forever. He's. He's. The hired man. What are you looking for? Chicken. Uh, we ate it. Um, I could make you something else. I'll get fed in town. As she heard the gruesome splash of the body falling into the rain-filled grave, the exotic eyes of the deadly Marguerite filled with tears. I don't get it. That's how women are. As if you'd know. I know better than you. Just because you've had one hickey once? 
I've had lots of hickeys. <laughs> you? Isn't a hickey just a bruise? You're such a baby. If I'm such a baby, why do I have these? Seems wrong. Uh, what are you doing? Hey, that's cheating. Cheating? Cheating? You, you want to talk about cheating? Wouldn't mind it if you're taking Betsy. What are you talking about? Well, make a buck any way you can, eh, Albert? I think your wagon's lost the wheel, repeat. There's no money on this game. The only thing my wagon's lost is a uh, ace, five of hearts, and, and Lola. Are you accusing me of stealing? <laughs> what should I accuse you of? I don't have your cards. But if that's how it is, what about my nine iron? What's that been, five years? Sure, and you still have my hot water bottle. My father's bowler? My autographed picture of Rita Hayworth. That's not an autograph, you ninny. It's a stamp. <laughs> Just the kind of cheap trick you would think of. What is it with you? Well, it just seems to me that working men don't have much need for track and field. Book work hardly qualifying as labor? Not that I'd imagine you'd know too much about it. I've read my share of books. Really? Huh. Huh. I'm surprised that a man of your academic background be afraid to stand up among friends to deliver a line or two. Well, I just don't see the bravery in parading around in silly outfits waxing poetical. More honor in criticizing something you've never done? I spent eight months as a front man in vaudeville. Now, that's bravery. Mm. So it, it's just Shakespeare. It's got you scared. Scared? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no one asked me. Great, I'll tell Violet. We can use more actors. What? Talk yourself into that one, Jake. That's it then. Nine o'clock. The angel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. 
Violet, uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, repeat. What a nice surprise. W well, I felt I should come by and, and discuss some of my thoughts about the uh, st uh, stage and details of the play. Yes. Well, <laughs> well this, uh, this part of Mercutio, uh, for instance. Now, it's, I think it's very important that we establish his uh, position in the town, his, his superior uh, position, uh, particularly in relation to the, uh, the other uh, members of the play, uh, like uh, the friar. Now, now he'd be a, a simple man. With a plainer costume. <laughs> Precisely. That's <laughs> my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Rarely expressed uh, more uh, uh, concisely. <laughs> it seems to me we could arrange something. <laughs> Those cards that have got Albert and repeat feuding. Are there women on them? That's what I heard. Mm. Yeah, well, Ben took them. Oh. oh, he's getting to that age, I guess. Curiosity is a natural thing. Hmm. Some folks would be upset. Chops for dinner, Julia. Very funny. Uh. You? So Ben took repeats cards. Is that a fact? Yeah. Found them in his room. What are you going to do about it? Children have a clear sense of rules. He's a good kid, Julia. He just needs a little time to figure things out. I'm really surprised Repeat agreed to this. I enjoy taking people by surprise, and there are not nearly enough facilities in this town for a well-kept woman. Well, all of a surprise is important. Particularly, I'd say, in the production of a play. What do you want about? A dapper friar. Now, who would guess that was coming? Not me, that's for sure. I had to be expecting some poor guy dressed in sackcloth, his belly wobbling about. Oh, please, Albert, I just ate. Something to consider when you're making costumes. And have you considered my proposal that you purchase that excess burlap for the garage? You don't hang curtains in a garage. Well, I'll just have to use it someplace else then. some time on your homework. Sure I will. Tomorrow. No. Tonight. Right after supper. But I can't. I have to go out. You don't have to go anywhere. You have to do your homework. Ma. And then maybe you should go to bed. Ooh, more time to dream, kid. Mm. Boy, you should see Albert and repeat. Those guys keep fighting. They're gonna have to start borrowing things just to return. What is it they're fighting about? Awesome. Missing playing cards. That's too bad. I can't go. You're not going to let a little bird crap scare you away from kissing the angel, are you? It's not that. What is it, then? I told you, it's my mom. Come on, guys. Sure, hide behind your ma, you baby. Time. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> now, Timothy, 
You're about to start this fight. Consider this Romeo bad news. Just crashed your family's party. And you're hot-blooded anyway. You're hot-blooded. Try doing it, pretending that everyone isn't watching. That's right, Jake. Just, just ignore us. Uh. <laughs> That's it, Jake. That's it. Art thou drawn among these heartless hinds? Turn thee, Ben Volio, and look upon thy death. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. She doth teach the torches to burn bright. It seems she hangs upon the cheek of night. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Such a sensitive soul. My lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender Yes. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much. This shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. Therefore, turn and draw. Good, good. Ho, Tibble. You rat catcher, will you walk? You rat uh, catcher. I am for you. No, 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 no. <clears throat> it's got to kill you. Like, like this, like, like this. And fire-eyed fury be my conduct now. Oh, what the? <laughs> so, so my move would be something like this? Uh, hey, 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 I, I am the one who is supposed to be learning this. It's easier to show than tell. He finally seems to have met his match. Or not. Go 
one Jake does I say that for him, but he does keep going. Have you ever been in a real fight? <laughs> you gonna show me? So trouble's your middle name these days, ain't it, kid? Well, I'm sure you got your reasons. Does everyone get more boring when they get older, Jake? What are you trying to say there, kid? Well, old guys don't like doing fun stuff like shooting gophers or reading comics. Well, you got a point there. Take Lazarus. He only cares about if you had a hickey or not. And a slingshot doesn't even work. <laughs> Sounds serious. No, kid. People are kind of like corn. Corn? You know how when we plant a patch, some of it sprouts up right away. And some takes a little more time to grow. Yeah. Well, people are kind of like that, too. Everyone needs different things to grow. Sometimes you gotta let people do what they 
need to do, like it or not. But what about Blood Brothers? A friendship like that should last through all that other person needs to do. Do you think so? I do. You know what? That friendship will be a lot stronger for you letting them go when they needed letting go. Hello, uh, Julia. I just wanted to... Go ahead. After you. To uh, apologize. We wanted to. You boys look like you could use some breakfast. Nice shirt, Jake. Um... Breakfast. That'll be fine. we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, if he were not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Oh. What have we here? Your playing cards. I found them. I mean, I borrowed them. So stumblest on my counsel. That's not true. I took them, and I'm sorry. Not that I approve, Ben. I don't approve. I'm really sorry. Seeing as it's the first offense, this time it can be borrowing, but next time it would be stealing. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's all right, Ben. Even adults get carried away sometimes. Don't we, Albert? Yeah, kid. We sure do. Back then, I figured Jake knew everything. It would never in a million years have occurred to me that he had his own demons to battle. When he talked to me about corn and people, he was trying to make sense of his own world as much as help me make sense of mine. May prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Thank you. 